What's up everybody? Today I'm about to make me ball a cute little vending machine. I got all the supplies right here. I'm about to show y'all how I slap this together, so stay tuned. These are the supplies that we're using today and they're pretty easy to find. I got everything from Walmart except for this picture. So you need some cellophane, you need some tape, an X-Acto knife, ruler, pencil. I have a hot glue gun along with some hot glue sticks. I have three foam boards. And I custom made this poster on Canva. And you can make your own or you can buy the template that I have. And with the template, I have about 24 different templates. So you can literally just send this over to CVS or Walgreens, print it out, and then you're just ready to start making your box. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take our 20 by 30 inch foam board. We're gonna lay that on our table. Then we're gonna take our poster and we're gonna take this and we're gonna sit it on top. And now that I have this where I want it, which is like this, you're gonna take something heavy so that way this stays in its place and it doesn't like roll up like this. So I have a candle right here. So that's exactly what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna sit that there. Make sure everything is lined up. Now you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and we're gonna score this. So when I say we're gonna score this, this means we're going to cut this board, but we're not gonna cut all the way through the board. So you can use a razor, but this X-Acto knife is the best thing to use for exact results. So I'm left-handed, so it might look like some of the stuff that I'm doing is backwards, but it's only because, like I said, I am left-handed. So we're gonna score this, meaning we're not going to cut all the way through. So we scored this side. So I did not cut all the way through. All right, so we did board number one. I'm gonna set this aside. And now we're gonna do now we have board number two. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We are going to score. So we're gonna do the same thing with board number two. Okay, so we got both of our boards scored. So the next thing we're gonna do is glue our picture onto the board. So I'm just putting some glue sticks into the glue gun. All right, so we're gonna glue one side to the board. I got my glue sticks and the glue gun. I'm gonna start off with my right side. So take your glue and line it along the edge. And we're gonna take our picture and we're going to lay it right along the edge of this, just like this. what it looks like so far. All right, so you wanna hot glue the rest of the sides. I'm gonna do the top, the bottom, and then I'm gonna seal it. So now we just gotta fit some glue along this right here, and I think we're moving right along.
All right, so now we have everything moving on to our board. We have this score line going down the middle. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend this just like this. And that's exactly why we didn't cut all the way through. So that way we can actually fold our board. So we're making a little progress. So we have our second board and we have the scored already. So we're just gonna fold it. This one, and we have this one. So even though we're not done yet, but you can see where we're going. Take our ruler. What we want to do is measure out six inches. do that a couple times All right, so I made a bunch of six inch marks and I'm just gonna line these marks up with my ruler and draw the line connecting these. So now that we have our six inch line, we're gonna cut this with our exacto knife. And you're gonna cut all the way through, don't score it. So let's cut. We're gonna repeat the process and we're gonna measure six inches. Take your X-Acto knife and we're gonna cut this six inch board. All right, so these are our two flaps that we cut off. I'm gonna cut these in half. So, draw a four inch line, going across, we're gonna cut it down the middle. And you can do this, you can, you can cut each board one by one, or I'm gonna put both of these boards together, put something heavy right here so they don't move around. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut this all the way down the middle. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife and we're gonna cut this white box out. All right, so we're gonna pop that window out. We're gonna just take our hot glue gun and we just wanna touch up this around the windows. So top, bottom, and sides, get a nice little touch up. Touch up our edges and they are nice and glued down. We're gonna add our saran wrap 
or our cellophane plastic to the middle. Put it down. We're gonna take our cellophane or saran wrap. You don't wanna use the hot glue gun for this because it will melt the plastic. All I'm doing is just taking my plastic, I'm putting it right over the window. All right, so I'm gonna take some tape, put some on my first corner. We are making some progress, you guys. All right, so we're gonna make a little door to take out the little vending machine snacks. Take your ruler, or you can eyeball it, it's up to you. So. All right, so we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut all the way through on the sides and the bottom. And we're not gonna cut the top all the way through. We're just gonna score it. So sides cut all the way through, bottom cut all the way through. So let's get it. So since we cut all the way through on the left side and the right side and the bottom, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna score this top part. So just like this, take your ruler. You might not need it, but again, better safe than sorry. And all we're gonna do is, is, since we have this part cut already, we're just gonna score the top. I personally cannot draw a straight line for nothing, so I'm gonna use my ruler so I can score this. Again, not all the way through, guys. this top part and that's going to let us push come on, so let us push this back I'm just bending it where the score is where we just cut all right so we have our little opening and we wanna go ahead and hot glue this back down. And now is a good time to put some more hot glue around this area right here and the side areas of the movie. Now it's time to assemble everything. So I'm gonna sit this down and we're gonna take it and we're going to hot glue it down just like this. And we're gonna put hot glue all the way down the side of this. Now that I've added glue to one side, I'm just going to open this up 
and take my hot glue gun and put some more hot glue along the seam just to reinforce it. So remember we got four shells and we're gonna set our box down. We're gonna take our shells I'm just gonna line them up and we're gonna cut off. So let's see. Alright, got this perfect like a glove. So Alright, so we've trimmed our shelves. Put them in here. So where you place your shelves really depend on how big or tall your candies are. And you may not use all four shelves. I'm thinking I'll mess around and use three shelves. The first shelf that we're gonna put in, I'm gonna put close to the window. literally going to put it like right about here. Take a hot glue gun and put glue all the way along this for our shelf. Alright, so now we're going to take this and place it right below our window, but above our door. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little test and see how our snacks hold up. And then you can determine where you wanna put the second shelf. Good space for a second shelf. Let's see. Some sour patch kids. Boom. So that can be our second one. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to make a note where I need to put hot glue. So let me show you guys this way. First shelf in, and depending on how tall your candy is, is how tall your next shelf is gonna be. So I have my shelf right here. Do a little line right here so I know. Now I'm gonna put another line right here. And basically we're gonna put hot glue from here to here, and we're gonna put more hot glue from here to here. So that way, this will adhere. Sorry, guys. And then we are not going to put any glue right in the middle because if we put glue in the middle, it's going to burn right through our window. We don't want that. I'm going to do a little glue right here. Here. And don't worry because we can come back and reinforce all of this. We're going to put some glue right along this side. Alright, so you, you see what I'm about to do, you guys? I'm going to turn this around just so I can see. If you like to 
you can reinforce the top of our shell by coming in right here and doing some glue. We have this extra shell and just in case you need to stick it right here. So we're gonna put this aside. So we got this extra poster board. And all I'm gonna do is basically measure out take this, measure this out, and cut it out. So, so it's gonna mark where this shell ends right here. Mark right here. And I'm just uh, making a straight line so I know where to cut. in there pretty good. I'm gonna take this and put it at the bottom. Alright, so that really sound good. I got some double-sided tape because I'm gonna put it on the bottom of each treat so that way the treats don't slide around. I'm gonna put some double-sided tape right here on the sweet side. potentially add in another shelf. Before I tape these three on, I'm gonna go ahead and add a second shelf. Or not a second shelf, but another shelf. Easter egg paper grass. So because we extra, we're gonna look at the top. We're just gonna do a little swiggle. And before it gets cool and hard, we take some of this. Easter eggs, which are so cute, and I'm just gonna glue some of these on top of this grass. So we got yellow, pink, purple, maybe an orange. Okay, I think this is perfect. All right, so make sure these are close, and you can stuff these with cute little trinkets as well but making this machine is more than enough, in my opinion. So 
way. Kind of go this way. All right, so you open this up from the back. You can close it on the side. Some people use Velcro. Um, I've seen little Velcro circle dots that people use. Um, I've even seen people go to the Dollar Tree and get like little dollar pop sockets, uh, the little things that's on the back of your phone. And I've seen them put those pop sockets right here as far as opening and closing this door. This was so fun to make. I cannot wait to make more of these. Whether it's for birthdays, holidays, or just because, this was really a cute, fun little craft. It took a little longer to make this only because I'm recording it, but this is something that you can do pretty quick. You can get all of the, I almost said ingredients, child, you can get all of the uh, supplies at like Walmart or um, like Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabric. I'm not gonna lie, you can get this stuff from the Dollar Tree, but the quality of it, in terms of the boards being firm and holding up, may not all the way apply to the Dollar Tree. So, 